Martian Manhunter, one of our most beloved characters in the DC Universe. We've seen him in the animated show for Justice League. We've seen him in his own ongoing series multiple times, as well as in the JLA. He is a super powerful and very well-known character within the DC Universe that we, a lot of us know and love. But we're here to talk about the new 12-issue Maxi series that delved into his origin and did a slight retelling of it. This was by Steve Orlando and Riley Rosmo, started in 2019 and finished off very recently, a couple weeks ago. So... As with the usual Martian Manhunter backline, this story involves Ron Mir's curse on Mars. We get to see what's happening on Mars as well as on Earth. But on Mars, as we all know, there's Ron Mir's curse, which invades the thought stream of Martians and essentially causes them all to burn. Death by fire. We all know fire is the weakness of Martians within the DC universe. And we see that in full effect in this story as it hunts Jean Jeans and his family and the rest of the Martians. We do also get to see John Jones well, John Jones as John Jones within the DC Universe in a more modern time frame. Of course, this is still an origin story, so it's before what's happening now. We also do have Detective Diane Mead here, who was also present in uh, John Jones's original origin story back in Detective Comics, I think 255 or 246, something like that, but a long time ago. Either way, the main focus here uh, is, of course, what's happening on Mars. We get a lot of detail as to what's happening on Mars before John Jean Jones is teleported over to earth we get to see the culture the society and we get to find out who jean jeans was back then he was um let's say a, a slightly corrupt manhunter he's the chief manhunter on mars and we see him going into these criminal underworlds we get to see him connect with his family and we find out he is he is corrupt but he's corrupt because he needs to help his family and provide for his family he's got a daughter kim and his wife miria and of course, you know, it, it's always tough. You know, we all experience this in our day to day lives, trying to provide for your family while maintaining your job and being a good citizen. So um, we also get a little bit of more background information. Why is Jean's forehead so prominent? Well, he modeled it after the caveman. Um, and you get to see him interact with his daughter and tell him why he likes Earth so much and the Earthlings. And it turns out when he's on Mars, it was actually hundreds of thousands of years before the modern time frame. We also get to see why Martians have the shape they have. They basically have a ceremony where they pass through um, a barrier and they get to choose their form based on their most inner, their heart's most inner desires. Um, so it's it's really cool. But Everything comes crashing down as uh, as Hranmir's curse spirals out of control and starts burning up the entire population of Mars. Of course, in this time frame, Jean has a plan to get his family off planet thanks to the help from his criminal under uh, underworld lords, and he's quickly rushing to get them off the planet. And so we see again that corruption come face to face with Jean. It all comes crashing down, and all the lies and deceit they all catch up with Jean as his family is exposed to the truth, and it turns out what he thought was actually going to happen does not and that's what turns this into a story of redemption we see john get teleported across earth like he has in previous stories uh, you know a, a little scientist decides he wants to make contact with another planet and he winds up stealing john from mars and now he travels not only across space but time as well to the modern day era of the dc universe he starts exploring starts taking in the sights and smells for a couple weeks you know, deciding what he wants to do, how much the world has changed from what he was used to when, when he was on Mars. And of course, he stumbles upon John Jones. John Jones is in a life or death situation that leads to death. And John steps in, notice, noticing the Earth equivalent of a manhunter in danger and decides he needs to help him out. Um, of course, John Jones doesn't make it. And John, in the spirit of Mars tradition, says he's going to take on his life for one cycle. A cycle is 10 days. And on Mars, they would take the form of a fallen, a fallen Martian for 10 days and live vicariously through their life as if they had kept going. And that's what Jean decides to do. But after those 10 days, the connection he feels to Diane and to the rest of the world, he can't seem to let it go. Um, and, you know, that's the beautiful thing about Jean Jones. If you're a fan of the character, you now know he's uh, a very emotionally connected character. He wants to honor people. He's always about other people first and respecting their honor and respecting who they were. And it's what makes us all love the characters so damn much. We also do get introduced, of course, to the villain who's, crea who's creating this problem. His name's Charn. But this isn't about him. 
He's just the driving force behind Jean overcoming his inner struggles and becoming the Martian Manhunter that we all know and love. Of course, I'm not giving all the details for this story because I don't want to ruin it. There are a lot of moving pieces. I just wanted to tell you guys that there are slight changes to Jean's origin here. And of course, I went through them very briefly, but um, it's really a powerful, moving story about Jean overcoming tragedy about Jean overcoming the corruption within his soul and realizing that he doesn't need to be crippled by his past mistakes. That from the ashes, the Martian Manhunter Phoenix can rise in his triumphant glory. And we get to see that and it's such a powerful moment. And there's so many powerful moments throughout the story that revolve around that. Um, you know, before this, Jean was really concerned about his shape. Obviously, a Martian is very scary to people. You know, he had been through so much corruption and he had disappointed so many people. But Jean overcomes it all and becomes the Martian Manhunter by the end of this story. And it is such a fantastic moment. Um, I know I'm showing it to you guys here, but you, it, when you read the story, there's so many more layers to it. It's so great to see how Jean develops as a character. And even though we've all seen it and to see him again as a, as a corrupt figure, which at first had, you know, was bothering me a little bit. I was like, come on, this is Jean. But the great thing that Steve Orlando and Riley Ross would do is is take that dark character and make you realize everyone has to go through something um you know he doesn't look like superman he can't just be accepted you know he he wasn't a baby when he left his planet he had to do dark and dirty things in order to make it work but it's what makes the story so rewarding is to see that character's progression and see them go from a dark and unlikable character to someone that you root for and cheer for and want to keep reading about so i, I really enjoy what Steve Orlando and Riley Rossmo did with this storyline. It's one of my favorite stories from the past two years. And again, there is a lot more going on. It's 12 entire issues. So be sure to check out that whole run. It's fantastic. It's, uh, it's one of those books that I think will stand the test of time and will be a Martian Manhunter recommended reading for anybody because it's extremely powerful and very, very relevant for a lot of us in today's day. Um, let me know what you've thought of, of the story if you've read it already. If not, be sure to check it out. There is a trade paperback coming out soon that will collect all 12 issues called Martian Manhunter Identity. Be sure to pick that up if you're interested. This was Mike from the Hardcover Comic. Thank you all very much for tuning in. If you like the video, let us know with a thumbs up, thumbs up down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more videos. We're posting quite regularly. And uh, you'll find down below in the description box a link for dr squatch organic soap it is a subscription service and our link will get you free shipping so thank you all once again and until next time you stay classy internet